Question from Rita Chris. Tim putting a new bike together, what cables do you recommend? All right, here's the thing with cables. There's very clear differences between um, cables, in particular the stopping power of the brake cables. Um, I've used Yokozuna cables for a long, long time. It's the only cable I recommend. Uh, other people will say Jaguar are uh, just as good. I don't think so. I think Yokozuna are far and away the best cable on the market. Um, recently, I pulled another bike I had apart, and it had SRAM cables on it. And I just want to demonstrate um, the difference, you know, good and bad cable. The difference between good and bad cables. So this cable here is a SRAM cable. This is a brake cable, so you can see how bendy it is. So you can imagine the amount of compression you get in a brake cable. Like, that's terrible, and it's so noticeable. Like when I when I jumped on this bike and pulled the brake levers, I had no stopping power whatsoever compared to what I was used to. Now we'll compare this to a bit of Yokozuna brake cable. You can barely bend this thing, and it is a bit shorter, but if I take a similar length of SRAM cable, I can still bend it in half. And there's nothing wrong with the cable, it's just shit. Um, other cables like Gore, which I think is pretty much being um, been superseded now, you know, they're, they're pretty stiff, but really, if you want a really good cable, um, go with Yokozuna, particularly if you're going over to the Alps of, you know, France or the Dolomites in Italy or Pyrenees or whatever, and you want really good brakes on the big mountains, get these things because they give you ultimate stopping power so don't dick around um, they're pretty cheap they're only about $60 for a full cable set put them on bike and you'll see a big big difference in your stopping power so there you go Chris Yokozuna reaction brake cables and gear cables too